Okay. So today we're going to be looking at how to undervolt the RTX 2080 in my laptop. First we're going to go ahead and check all the voltage stuff and set to third party. And it's going to restart. As you can see voltage is still not red. So what we're going to do is copy this file. And we're going to go into the program files. Into the profiles. And you're going to want to replace all the files besides the MSI afterburner file. We're going to save it as .cfg for all files onto a desktop because Windows 10 sucks and we can't replace it directly unless we run notepad as administrator. .cfg all files. Oops, supposed to be to a desktop. <laughs> okay, and then now you're just going to drag both files and overwrite the current ones and click replace. So now let's open MSI Afterburner and you should be able to see the voltage readout as you can see. We can see it now. So we go into the settings and I'm going to go ahead and enable GPU voltage monitoring on the OSD. Should be at the bottom. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to first test to see what our clocks and voltage runs at at stock. So we're going to run GPU Z and we're going to run the render test to see what the clocks are at. So mine is running at 1920 with 1042 millivolts, 1049. Now this isn't what I'm going to see in game because my temperatures are quite low right now. As the temperatures rise, my clock speed will drop and my true in-game max clock will be apparent. So it's at 1905 right now. This is probably still not going to be realistic, but we'll go ahead and press Control F to bring up the frequency curve. And I'm going to try 1 volt at, let's try 1905. You press L to lock it and click Apply. Now as you can see it's doing 1 millivolt but it's not exactly where it should be. This means that the voltage is too low. So we're going to go ahead and try 1025 millivolts. Okay, click apply and 1890. So, so the temperatures are increasing and the clock speeds are going to go down more as the temperatures increase. So let's do something in the 950 millivolts and try this. Maybe, how about 1860? I think 1860, 1860 is a good clock speed. I think this should be doable. Okay, so once you do 1860, if you go ahead and hit apply, it should bring it down. Yep, there we go, 1860. And it's 950 millivolts. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run something that puts a load on the GPU to make sure these clocks are actually stable at this voltage because the render test doesn't really put too much of a stress on it. So I'm running Heaven Benchmark. And as you can see, we're getting... 1875 there we go 1860 so it's equaled out now I'm still hitting the power limit and that's just gonna keep happening these cards do not have enough power draw limit it's too low I think on the Alienware card I have it's 190 watts so it's still hitting that power limit even at 950 millivolts but as you can see the 1860 is consistently sticking which is good and temperatures are rising and the clock speed is still sticking this is what we want to do with an undervolt like this your temperature should drop by quite a bit so let's do overclocking now now you can overclock using the curve or you can just increase the offsets so let's do plus 200 memory and maybe plus 100 on the core clock and apply this. Now, by doing this, we're increasing the whole curve from the 
star clocks and it's not going to stick to one clock speed due to GPU boost. As you can see, we're at 1965, 1.006 volts, and the clocks are fluctuating. The RAM, however, will stay stable at 7200 megahertz. So 1935, 1920. So as you can see, the clocks will fluctuate. And as temperatures increase, it will throttle more. And as you can see, we're constantly hitting the power limit, which is unfortunate. If these cards had like 250 watt TDP, then we'd be able to do some nice stuff with these, but that's not the case. So 1890, so we can increase the memory to let's say plus 300. That should be stable enough. And maybe increase this a little bit more, maybe 115. As you can see, the clocks went up to 1920 from 1905, 7300 megahertz, or 7301, and constantly hitting the power limit, 1965. So depending on the scene, the clocks will go up and down, volts will go up and down, but as you can see, that power limit is just staying there. So yeah, that's the quick undervolt overclock guides. I'm just going to put this back to normal. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.